Hey everyone, this is Dr. Retro and it's time for another mask unboxing. Today it's Rhino, next to Thunderhawk and Switchblade, one of the most famous cars from the mask series. This is uh, from the good side, so the mask side, not the Venom side. It's 100% complete in the box, so I'm going to show you everything that comes with it. First the box, you can see this is a dramatized version here, you see the content. You have Bruce Sato with his mask and Matt Tracker and of course Rhino. Side of the box shows Rhino in its two forms. Left is the normal form, and to the right you have the transformed version, which I'll show you, of course. Side of the box uh, shows some details that the front grille can move and that the back has a little UFO car or whatever they call it, little little extra car. So this is one of the few Moss cars that comes with a styrofoam inlay instead of the cardboard inlay. And this styro inlay is hard as hell to find in good condition and I'm really, really, really happy with this one because it's 100% complete in great condition and also comes with the extra little uh, protector sleeve thingy. So let's take that out. This is the bag where the car should be in but it's too much hassle to put the car in there. First thing we find is the manual. As I've said before on other cars, the manual is also a poster that shows every mask item that was released in this series. So there you have Rhino. This is an instruction on how to put the mask on the item, on the figure. That's really complex, really needs an explanation. Some instructions on where to put the stickers, etc. And the back is the poster, you've seen this before. Thunderhawk already made a video out of this and uh, all the other cars and vehicles from the first series. So then there are some extra little papers which have some warning information. Um, yeah, snap doors to cab as shown on instruction seat. Just some extra information that they really do care. Wow, that's nice, huh? Up here we have Matt and his friend Bruce with their masks and also some loose items that weren't assembled. Oh, something fell. Let me pick that up. This is one of the spoilers. No, this is a reflector. Then we have a spoiler. I don't know how you call this thing, but this is on the back of the truck. This is Bruce with his mask. Sorry for the focus there. It's because of the back. Can't get a focus. There we go. Bruce Sato and his mask. And then we have Matt Tracker and his mask. There you have him. So, let's put Rhino together and show you how it works. Let's take him out carefully to not damage the styro. It already triggered. As you can see, let's put that back in there. That was actually a secret, but sorry for that. So this goes there. This one goes over here. I believe. Or it actually broke off. No, it didn't. Oh, it actually did. Need to get that fixed. Sorry, that was outside the screen. This one should be here, but it kind of broke off, so it needs to get glued back on. So I'm taking that off now to prevent any further damage. And this one goes over here to cover the top of the mini buggy. So this is Rhino in its normal form. It's a big truck. I'll show you on the side. When you want to transform it, it has two buttons on the back. Over here. When you press the first one, the door flips open as you saw over here and it kind of kicks out the figure that was in there. It's uh, more or less uh, some kind of safety mechanism so that no one else gets into the car. Let's put that back in. When you press the other button, the front slides out. This is also a, a ram or something to, uh, to kick another vehicle or whatever you want to use it for. Problem is with these kind of mechanisms, if you really use them as a kid to play with, you could damage it because it's not too sturdy and uh, if you ram into something too hard you will break it. This comes off and there you have the mini buggy that showed on the back. 
has some guns on the front because of course every car in the cartoon from the 80s has plenty of guns some mud flaps there you go and then the most important thing about Rhino let's get that open that is the bomb and to get to the bomb you slide it open sorry that was all outside the screen that was a bit amateuristic let's do that once more let's get the bomb back in close the lid so you open the car by sliding it to the back you flip it open so you have a walking pad in there is control chat control room and to shoot this bomb you pull this trigger let's try that out there it goes into the box so that's Rhino this also moves by the way these are some extra cannons you can pull these down and put them like this to have some extra cannons so that was the Musk vehicle Rhino one of my favorite vehicles I played with this so much as a kid this is not my original version by the way because I totally destroyed that with playing with it I um, hope you enjoyed watching this. If you want to see more mosque stuff or retro game stuff, check out my channel and be sure to subscribe and uh, also like me on Facebook. So facebook.com slash drretromd, Dr. Retro MD. See you next time. Bye bye.